Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. Now, gaming series as a whole are a bit up and down, as is their nature, to be honest. But some do take more of a nosedive than others. We decided naming and shaming is a ruddy good laugh because we're nasty like that. So we're listing our top five gaming franchises that ain't what they used to be. Now, we're not saying that these franchises are inherently bad or that no one should like them, just that they're not quite what they once were. And considering that we are Nintendo Life, hence the whole sort of t-shirt fiasco going on down here, we are only going to be including game series that have appeared on a Nintendo console at least once. Just consider this a warning, all right? You'll get your time. Despite having more games than a Nintendo Life employee, the Blue Bomber hasn't exactly been firing on all cylinders recently. Mega Man 9 and 10 received great reviews, but for some reason, Capcom just doesn't seem to care much about this guy anymore. If Wikipedia is to be believed, he hasn't even had a release beyond the Legacy Collection since 2013, and even that was some sort of obscure Japan-only phone game. He may have been immortalized in Super Smash Bros, but until we hear otherwise, all we're getting is some strange DeviantArt-themed TV series and a supposedly disappointing knockoff. the recent trailer for what should have been called Halo 6 is anything to go by, Call of Duty is sort of on the down... Well, to be honest, it's been going down gradually for a while now. Gone is the rooty tooty point and shooty action, revolutionary controls and genuinely involving single player, all to be replaced with a total lack of anything really original. You can afford Kevin Spacey, but you can't afford a genuinely well-written storyline. I, I don't even know how that works. Now, I have to admit, I don't personally know what it's called when horror becomes more of a day job beyond the premise of Five Nights at Freddy's, but Resident Evil has managed it somehow. From the excellent fourth entry on the GameCube and the Wii, to the kind of lacklustre Resident Evil 5, to this logo, the series has declined almost effortlessly. The controls weren't great in the older games, but damn it, they were scary, and that's what Resi should be about. The new ones just don't seem to manage it in the same way, and it's a real shame. More commonly known as the Friendship Assassin, this series has been kicking around for the best part of two decades and it's safe to say that it's no longer the entertaining childhood trauma it once was. Mario Party 10 is still kind of fun, but without even going around the board individually outside of Amiibo Party, it's not got much in terms of replayability, which is one of the series' strongest assets. Also, tapping an Amiibo just to roll a die isn't exactly an inventive or fun way to do things. Now before we get on to number one on the off chance that you haven't already guessed what it is, let's take a moment to have a look at some series that haven't declined in quality over the years, basically just to take this horrible, bitter taste out of our mouths. Yep, you all saw it coming. No franchise has fallen further than the Blue Blur, despite how well his Twitter presence has risen. From all the classic, incredible Sonic games to a sad, trickling stream of old snake water, Sonic has had a few instances of greatness recently with the likes of Colors and Generations, but to say this sped-up anthropomorphic bush fancy is as good as he ever was is sadly a total, unequivocal lie. From dodgy apps to funny physics and utterly dumbfounding fan art, Sonic is now, pun fully intended, merely a shadow of its former self. Do you agree with our list, or are you simply insulted by the very notion of criticism? Let us know down there in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you treat yourself to a chucky bicky on us, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Hmm. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>